Studying petroleum engineering in China will equip me with both the knowledge and skill so I can contribute to the sustainable development and advancement of my country. So when I gain the knowledge, gain the, gain the, um, the skills, I will come back to Guyana and I will be a part of the oil and gas industry. Delicia Cameron is one of four students who will leave shortly for China. Her batch is the second to benefit from this initiative, a joint program between CNOC and the Ministry of Natural Resources. The scholarships, fully funded by CNOC, cover education, transportation, and living expenses for the students. This year's awardees, Delicia Cameron, Rashida Daniels, Shanae Henry, and Haley Caesar were selected from 11 shortlisted candidates after a rigorous selection process. Minister of Natural Resources Vikram Bharat gave the charge to the awardees at a ceremony last Friday. I'm sure that the only thing your parents want in return from you is for you to make them proud. I'm sure and 100% positive that is all your parents want in return from you, is for you to make them proud. And how will you make them proud? By accomplishing the mission that you're going to. By finishing your studies, graduating, and returning home. Building a career, becoming a young professional, live a decent, respectable life, and help at the same time to mold other young Guyanese and to help develop your country. CPGL President Mr. Lu Xiaoxiang emphasized the company's commitment to developing local content and building capacity through its corporate social responsibility program. Education, he noted, has always been a key pillar of CPGL's initiatives. Today is an important day for our company, CPGL. Today is a selection of a second batch of four bright and uh, ambitious young Guyanese to pursue petroleum studies in China is a reaffirmation of CPGL's commitment to build local capacity, develop local content, and benefit local population. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that will allow me to pursue my dreams and make a positive difference in my community and country at large. Being able to accept this award to study in China is a dream come true. Since childhood, I have aspired to study abroad, but the path has not been easy. Despite being a two-time scholarship award in the past, circumstances prevented me from going. However, these experiences have only deepened my appreciation for this moment. I'm particularly excited about the prospect of immersing myself in Chinese language and culture. I look forward to calling it my home during my studies. And this cultural exchange will not only enhance my academ academic experience, but also broaden my global perspective. Under the current program, 10 scholarships will be awarded over three years. The first batch of students from the 2023 2024 academic year is nearing the completion of their first year of studies. Upon graduation, the scholarship recipients are expected to work with either the ministry or CPGL for five years, ensuring their newly acquired skills benefit the nation. Daniel Swain for the Newsroom.